Welcome to the uh, July meeting for the Green Local School District Board of Education. Mrs. Snowberger, would you call the roll, please? Mr. Campbell? Here. Mr. Herdlick? Here. Mrs. Stonoff? Here. Mr. Cohen? Here. Mrs. Spinelli? Uh, Mrs. Spinelli is taking care of a family matter this evening, so she could not be with us and sends her regards. Uh, would you please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance, allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Honors and recognition, Mr. Miller. All right, at the conclusion of each school year, the Ohio School Board Association asks local districts across the state to recognize supportive businesses who have made a positive impact uh, on the success of the district. Businesses large and small, corporate-owned or family-run, play a key role in supporting the community and schools, from helping schools with in-kind or financial contributions, donating to scholarship opportunities and programs, or by supporting extracurricular activities uh, and offering internship uh, programs. Um, we have several businesses that we're going to be recognizing tonight, and at this time, I would ask uh, Julie McMahon to please fill us in a little bit more about the program and introduce the honorees that are with us this evening. Mr. Miller and school board members, thank you so much. Um, I know that most of the board members are familiar with the Ohio School Board Association's different programs, and one of them that they do each year is the business honor roll. So not unlike our school honor rolls, it's really highlighting and singling out um, those businesses in our community that make a huge difference to our district in order to keep us at the high-performing district that we are. Um, the nominations this year were sought from each of the buildings. They changed the parameters a little bit this year. We were only able to recognize one business per building, but we were able to recognize up to eight businesses per special project. So we had the nominations uh, come from all of our buildings, um, and what was really cool is that there were a couple businesses that were actually nominated a couple different times from different buildings, which, which that's really nice to see that it's really across the board. Um, we had some administrators chime in on it, um, and the nominations range from businesses pledging hefty monetary amounts to those local businesses that are always there with a constant, consistent yes, whatever we need, whether it be supporting our district with volunteers or giving that uh, gift card every time one of our organizations or PTOs or sports teams goes out and asks for a gift card. So it really covered the gamut, which I, I was really excited about. Um, altogether, we actually forwarded 34 different businesses, mm. and we are able to recognize five businesses again um, on an individual basis and eight for the special project which we put forth the nominations for the Bulldog Dash was the special project that we nominated the business for and you know we all know the success of that but yes it takes our runners and our walkers and our committee but without the backing of sponsors we wouldn't be able to raise between the forty and fifty thousand dollars that we do, so with us here tonight, um, being recognized, and I'm going to ask them to come up, and we'll present them with a plaque. So, being with us tonight um, is individual business nominee, our district boutique, which, if you're not familiar with that, this is a great little shop right there in the Acme Plaza, and I learned that. <laughs> that she is actually a former kindergarten teacher, so she's one that I say gets it. So when anybody knocks on District Boutique's door, they are always willing to answer, um, and we really appreciate that. And with us here tonight, too, from the special project category, we have Spoonhauer Orthodontics, which if any of you have children who have had the braces, you've probably <laughs> gone through there and, and met um, Dr. Spoonhauer. And also with us is Cutler Real Estate, who was a huge sponsor, too, for our Bulldog Dash. Um, so if you guys want to come up, and I'm just going to give you your plaque. <laughs> thank, you. thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I don't know if any 
of you would like to say anything, you're welcome to address the board. Just, uh, obviously, with uh, our fire clients, as far as housing, education is one of the first things that they ask about. And you folks have done just an amazing job um, in the last 20, 30 years. And I know all of you haven't been on the school board for 20, 30 years. <laughs> oh, some of them. It's just uh, an incredible Thank, thank you. Your thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I'd also like to recognize those who are not able to be with us tonight, uh, and we are actually going to be personally delivering their certificates, as well as putting out a press release with all their names. So, um, the total uh, list for our individual nominations were Splash and Dash, Novus Eye Clinic, and North Coast Theatrical which this is a kind of new one that was, I will say, nominated by Green Intermediate School that were a huge support and help in putting on and for us being able to conduct a intermediate school musical. So it was nice to see a company like that being recognized too. Also for our special project for the Bulldog Dash, we're recognizing Acme Fresh Market, Giant Eagle Market District, Fred Martin Nissan, Sheets, Romeo Pizza, and American Printing and Lakes Heating. So I just want to thank everybody. And uh, they will all be listed in one of an upcoming uh, Ohio School Board Association journal with all of them listed too. So again, we'd like to thank our business partners. That's it. Um, just so you guys don't have to stay for that. Does anybody want to make any comments while we're just at this point? I know I'm going to, I will, if, if that's all right. Um, you know, when you, you look down through the, through the list, you see a lot of, you see a lot of uh, repeat offenders, I guess, it, which is great in, in this regard. Um, but, you know, having kids that have gone through there and, and knocked on the doors and, you know, there's, there's always some that are accepting, always some that are rejecting a little bit. It's, uh, it's amazing when they, you know, come to, to uh, the businesses and everything, and, and they're always willing to do a, a part and and ask, you know, what else is there that we can do is, is really the impressive thing, and that, uh, you know, always giving back. We really do appreciate that. And when you look down the list, there's a lot of people that either uh, have kids in the school or some of the people that, that work here or do things come from the school or, or used to work there, and it's always just like, hey, don't I, are you, didn't you go to, and it's like, yeah, so did I. So it's a lot of kind of coming back to the community and, uh, and giving back for that, so it certainly, um, you know, means just a little bit more to, to each and every one of us. So we really appreciate the generosity and everything else, so thank you again. Um, we'll move on for the uh, approval of the agenda. Uh, I don't believe we have any changes, so do I have a motion to approve the agenda as presented? So moved. Thank you, Mrs. Stoinoff. Second. Thank you, Mr. Herdlick. Mrs. Snowberger. Mrs. Stoinoff. Yes. Mr. Herdlick. Yes. Mr. Cohen? Yes. Mr. Campbell? Yes. Motion carries four to zero. Thank you. And we'll put a little plug in for this. The agenda was, draft agenda was put out on Friday by Mrs. Snowberger. Very nice. Twelve twenty. We had some posi very positive comments about it. So uh, we, appreciate, uh, we appreciate you doing that and hopefully people uh, find that a valuable tool uh, to be uh, informed and everything else to keep informed of what's going on. It's definitely brought bigger crowds to our, <laughs> <laughs> our meetings. It's overflow crowd time. <laughs> There's a lot of people watching. <laughs> Maybe it's the weather. Uh, we don't have need for executive session at this time. Since there's no real visitors, I don't know if there's any comments by anybody in attendance. Uh, and if not, we'll just uh, roll through for the approval of the minutes. Uh, for the regular board meeting of June 26th, do I have a motion to approve those minutes? So approved. Or, I'm sorry. Thing. So, so moved. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Cohen. Second. Thank you, thank you Mrs. Stoyner. <laughs> Mrs. Snowberger. It's summer. <laughs> Mr. Cohen. Yes. <laughs> Mrs. Stoyner. Yes. Mr. Campbell. Yes. Mr. Herdlick. Yes. Motion carries four to zero. Thank you for the financial report. The superintendent and treasurer recommend the Board of Education approve the financial report and payment of bills as presented by the treasurer. Do I have a motion to approve that? So moved. Thank you, Mr. Herdlick. Second. Mrs. Stoyner. Mrs. Snowberger? Mr. Herdlick? Yes. Mrs. Stoinoff? Yes. Mr. Campbell? Yes. Mr. Cohen? Yes. Motion carries four to zero. Thank you.
Uh, under new business, the consent calendar note, as always, items under the consent calendar are considered routine and will be enacted under one motion. There will be no separate discussion of these items prior to the time the board votes unless a board member requests an item be clarified or even removed from this consent calendar for separate action. Do I have a motion to approve the consent calendar as presented? So moved. Thank you, Mr. Cohen. Second? Second. Thank you, Mr. Hurd. Questions or comments? A couple things I'd like to um, congratulate Mrs. Sharon Lawrence, who's on this agenda and in going to be retiring uh, here in the next few days. Uh, she's been a tremendous asset to the district for a long time. And I know that Mr. Jackson shares that sentiment. Uh, she works in, as a secretary director of operations and we're definitely wishing her well. Uh, and she definitely leaves uh, big shoes for us to fill. So I wanted to comment on that and congratulate her. And then as you can see from the consent calendar, there's a lot of activity that takes place during the summer. Although uh, some of our students are enjoying their summer vacation, work still goes on. So I've asked Mr. Lowe Miller just to touch on briefly a couple of our programs, specifically the step up to quality with our preschool and then also PBIS and, and maybe elaborate on that a little bit. Good evening. Under the cons consent calendar, um, there are some items, the first being step up to quality. Um, just to inform you, um, that is with our pre-K program. Um, that is the licensing, um, credentialing um, standards that we have to meet. Um, Tess Mayone is on there. She facilitated um, that process. We did receive five stars this past year, which is the highest rating and the highest uh, level that you can achieve. So um, just a congratulations to our pre-K team for their hard work and to Tess for the work that she does, um, handling the paperwork, scheduling trainings, responsible for compliance issues related to the credentialing process. You're also gonna see some uh, math support, um, recommendation for tutors to be approved. Um, over the summer, in order to assist our students um, staying fresh with their mathematical concepts, we do offer tutoring two hours per week over at the, the library here. Um, for students in grades three through seven, we have a handful of teachers that are on the calendar um, who we are asking for them to be compensated for the time that they're spending. Um, it's at, at will, the students are able to come in during those scheduled times and just have some assistance as they're working through their summer smash um, math work. And again, that's just to keep them fresh with their skills. We also have a summer reading program that's taking place at GPS. That's for students in grades one through three. Approximately 75 students were invited to participate. Again, those students who are in need of some assistance with their um, reading skills in order to uh, maintain those grade level standards. Um, some of those students will be taking the um, state assessment, our third grade students, um, and that is actually happening this week. They will have an opportunity to take that assessment. Then the final thing that's on here really is PBIS. That stands for Positive Behavior Interventions and Supports. That is a state-driven initiative. Um, it really aligns with the work that we're doing with the district leadership team and the Ohio improvement process. The gist here is to make sure that we are um, implementing proactive approaches and ensuring that our students are successful, um, not only academically, but also socially and emotionally. And so the items on the calendar really are um, for trainings that take place around PBIS and as well as the formation of committees. Um, representatives from each of the buildings will be working to um, come up with the plan for the building, what the staff needs as far as training, and also what will be implemented universally from building to building. Questions? Uh, do we bring people in for to do the PBIS training? Obviously, the who trains we, this group? Yes, yeah, so some of it is internal training, and then we also have various consultants who are able to come in, some of them from our state support team, which would be through um, our state support team eight, housed with the um, educational service centers where they are located. We also have some other um, consultants that we work with um, who have expertise in the area of, of behavior. And the, uh, and the pay rates all basically are through the through the contract, contracted rates and that kind Correct. of stuff. Is that right? Correct. Correct. I think the majority of these um, would reference the academic work rate. Right. Very good. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks.
Thanks, Dan. Any other questions or comments? Mrs. Snowberger. Mr. Cohen. Yes. Mr. Herdlick. Yes. Mrs. Stoyna. Yes. Mr. Campbell. Yes. Motion carries four to zero. Um, oh, you know, oops, sorry. Can I go back? I need to make one other comment. Um, part of that uh, administrative compensation package, there was no changes. It was just reassignment of some responsibilities, I believe, and that we were we expanded a few roles uh, along the way. So just wanted to, uh, it's correct. Just expand on that. Uh, item B, um, recommend the Board of Education approve the following resolution. Um, I can read all of that, but I don't think anybody would really be listening more af anymore after the first whereas. So I'll just sum it up to, uh, to say that um, when we put together uh, Mr. Miller's contract, uh, part of that was uh, with an eye towards the future and that contracts were coming up and we thought it would be best not to specify any sort of uh, salary increase and that was kind of his, I believe it was his suggestion uh, that we do that in order to make sure that once negotiations were done that then everything else would be kind of go the same way and um, as that was done, Mr. Miller was, uh, uh, as we spoke as to how best to do that, uh, it was his idea that we would just uh, take whatever it was that the union contracts agreed to and just apply it to his uh, contract in years three, four, and five. So match exactly what, uh, what the staff got um, and go forward from there. So that's it, the reason why we do, you know, a lot of times you, you don't see that, you just see a set number in, in that contract throughout. And, um, and sometimes it kind of gets out of whack because no one really has that great of an idea of you know, what's going to happen over the, next, over the course of several years and that kind of stuff. And um, to Mr. Miller's benefit or to his um, character and, and integrity, he said, you know, I don't want anything more than what everybody else is getting. And I think it would be unfair for me to do that. So, um, so now we're just kind of going through and making that official to match whatever it is that we have for the next three years for the contracts. So, um, I guess I could have read it. it might even take the last <laughs> but it still didn't say all that stuff. So, uh, anyways, that's what it is. And do I have a motion to approve the resolution? So moved. Thank you, Mr. Stoynoff. Second. Second. Thank you, Mr. Cohen. Any other questions or comments? Mr. Hurt or uh, Mr. Hurt? <laughs> Mrs. Snowberger. <laughs> I lost my job. <laughs> I was like, you always have a comment down there. <laughs> Mrs. Stoinoff? Yes. Mr. Cohen? Yes. Mr. Herdlick? Yes. Mr. Campbell? Yes. Motion carries four to zero. Thank you. Uh, for board accommodations, um, Mr. Herdlick, how would you like to start us off tonight? All right. I uh, don't have a whole lot, but I uh, just wanted to congratulate uh, Mrs. Lawrence on uh, her retirement and, and thank her for her, I believe it was 17 years of service here uh, at Green Local Schools. Uh, she will be missed. Uh, I am glad that uh, she is sticking around for Green Schools Foundation for an extra year. Uh, I'm much appreciative of that, uh, but good luck to her and, and her next chapter uh, as she moves on from here, but just thank her for all, all she's done for our schools. Uh, the only other thing, I walked across the, the new turf. Uh, field looks good. Those new color schemes really, really stand out. Uh, it feels kind of weird walking across it. I think it'd be something kind of like spongy or something. It's just did it make you feel faster? I, I couldn't even control myself. I was so fast. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I mean, it looks good. It, uh, uh, people were out there running on it tonight, actually, as, as I was coming in here tonight. So it's already back in service and back in use. So uh, thank you, Wendell, for coordinating that. Uh, obviously, I think it got done ahead of schedule, didn't it? So good job to everybody on putting that together. It really looks good. That's all I have. Thank you. Mrs. Stoinoff? Well, Mark, he stole about half of what I had, so I <laughs> don't have a lot. It's just that time of year where a lot of work is getting done, uh, but there's not a lot of student activity, obviously, going on. I did, I, I forgot to mention this at the last meeting, so I, I will mention it. I had the chance, probably right after um, school was out, I think, to take part in um, an evaluation of some tech projects that some of our faculty uh, put together here as an initiative that um, Scott Ayton put forth uh, 
evaluating their integration of technology for specific projects in the classroom. And I thought it was, it was really wonderful. Got to see some things going on with the chicks that get hatched over at Greenwood in uh, Mrs. Zimmerman's class and some things that were going on at the high school through um, Katrina Hunkla's um, language arts class that were really spectacular and, and several others. So I, I just thought I would mention that, that um, our technology and our technology integration in the, the district is going um, great guns. And what I was most impressed with, because this is kind of one of my pet fee peeves, is it was technology that led to learning, not just technology for technology's sake. So it wasn't bells and whistles just because we can do a lot of cool things, which we can, but the, the students were so excited and so engaged um, in the learning and the use of the technology. So it was really a, a positive experience. I will um, echo Mr. Herdlick's comments thanking Sharon for always you know, being there and being the smiling face to, to greet me as I, I walk into the, the cab into the district offices. And she certainly uh, will, will be missed and um, has been a great support, I know, for Mr. Jackson. And so she will definitely be hard to replace, in fact, irreplaceable. Uh, thank you again to the businesses that we recognize tonight. Uh, Mr. Campbell pointed out, I recognized a few there, of people that I know are alumni uh, of the district and are giving back, so we, we always appreciate that. Uh, the turf looks great. I had a chance to go and see it. I have not, it was not finished, so I was not allowed to walk on it, but I did get a bird's eye view as Mr. Low Miller and Mrs. Snowberger made me walk all the way to the top of the bleachers, which was very good for me <laughs> and gave me a great view of, of all that was going on. But it, it Just looks, be ready when you get on there because you're going to be faster than I, you <laughs> Like lightning. <laughs> <laughs> so it, it, but it does. It looks, it looks very nice, and I, I was very pleased. And then I, I'll just wrap up by... Um, echoing also what Mr. Campbell said, of um, thanking Mr. Miller for um, allowing us to have some flexibility in that contract and to um, always lead with integrity and wanting to make sure that he was matching what, what the staff got. And, and I think that speaks uh, to his character. That's the first thing. Anybody asks me, how do you describe uh, your superintendent and character and integrity is always one of the first things that, that I mentioned. So thank you for always leading with that. And that's why we had successful negotiations and we're moving forward uh, for the fall. So that's all I have. Have a great rest of the summer. Thank you, Mr. Stoyan. Mr. Cohen. You know, for not having anything, you sure had a lot. <laughs> pretty much stole don't, about 90% uh, of abilities. what I was actually going to say. Uh, one thing that you didn't have, oh. which I wanted to mention, is uh, I think Safety City just started this week um, in Greenwood, uh, our Greenwood building, and, uh, you know, relies on a lot of our uh, green uh, school kids from middle school and high school, and and that's always uh, a really uh, neat experience uh, for those volunteers as, as well as the kids that are going to be coming into our schools. And I know when my kids went through that program, they really enjoyed it and it was a great way to transition. Um, so I just wanted to recognize that. Uh, Sharon Lawrence uh, will very much be missed. She's always a smiling face whenever you uh, walk into our offices and um, uh, just a, a real great representative of the district. Uh, the turf is done and laid and uh, if you want to see it in action uh, tomorrow morning at five o'clock in the morning you can see the boys soccer team uh, running uh, running around there for a couple hours um, and so our sports teams are going to be starting up here very very soon um, wanted to uh, thank all the businesses that were recognized uh, and i wanted to especially uh, call out um, dr spoonhauer uh, you know my kids I think are probably responsible for several square feet of his new building uh, that's going up <laughs> and should be done in November. But he is a, an, an outstanding, um, uh, outstanding orthodontist and, uh, and an even better person and a fantastic representative of the Green Local Schools uh, community. And uh, really look forward to just working with him, uh, you know, uh, for the foreseeable future. Um, and finally, I just wanted to. Um, uh, echo what Katie said about uh, our superintendent Jeff Miller. Um, integrity uh, is the first thing that comes to my mind when I think of Jeff. Uh, we are so incredibly fortunate to have uh, such a leader uh, of our district uh, and you know it, it's it's just been a real pleasure 
working with him uh, over the last uh, year and a half since I've been on the board and, and even before that and uh, look forward to with this uh, contract to uh, hopefully uh, many, uh, many more decades is what I'm saying. <laughs> uh, I'm an optimist, so I'm, I'm looking at decades. But uh, that's all I have. Thanks, Katie. No for problem. Stealing most of what <laughs> Thank I have. you. All right. And last but not least, uh, we did have a couple of our uh, boys golfers that did well on the junior golf tournament. I believe uh, I'm, I'll have you pronounce his name because I'm going to butcher it. Moldovan. Moldovan. Yes. Is and he's going to be a sophomore this year. I think he finished second or third. Second. Uh, yeah. And uh, uh, Conjerides, um finished in the top ten. I think it was eighth or ninth. I think, yes. <laughs> yeah, somewhere around there. So obviously it's uh, some of the best golfers in the, uh, in the area. Well, it is the best golfers in the area. And uh, so we look forward to big things from them uh, starting here uh, late in the summer and early in the fall. Um, I know that the, the last couple things that we have here, the Booster Club had a concert at the park. Um, it was just before July 4th. Is that right? A couple weekends? Before? Yeah, the Tuesday. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and they just had the Sunday with Old Blue Eyes the other night, I believe, from the city that was over yeah, there. The so. veterans to support the, yeah. the first responders uh, and, memorial on Saturday. And I think there's a few more, Julia, a few more concerts that are mm -hmm. scheduled throughout the summer. Yeah, August 12th is when the concert will be there. Okay. Gotcha. And they have food trucks and beverage trucks and things, all kinds of things that are there. So, so. what is that date again? August 12th. August 12th, yeah. And then um, August 12th, we're actually having a kids' corner, too, where kids can come and learn and see and do things and play with the kids. Okay. Family okay, great. Um, so, you know, uh, come out and enjoy the things that, uh, that the boosters and the city has put out for us and everything else. So. Um, it'll be a good time. That's all we have. There's no need for executive session this evening. And uh, with that, uh, <laughs> I'll make the motion. You don't, uh, you don't even have to go. So <laughs> I'll be cheering. A lot of excitement for the audience for people who don't go. Oh, this is horrible. <laughs> we have a motion to adjourn. So moved. Thank you, Mrs. Stoinoff. Second. Thank you, Mr. Herdlick. Mrs. Snowberger. Mrs. Stoinoff. Yes. Mr. Herdlick. Yes. Mr. Cohen. Yes. Mr. Campbell. Yes. Motion carries four to zero. Thank you. See you in August.